This is Torosaurus, one of the large horned dinosaurs from the Lake Cretaceous of North America. It lived 65 million years ago in what's now Montana and throughout the American West. There's a really interesting suggestion in the scientific literature a couple of years ago um, that suggested that Triceratops, the very famous three-horned dinosaur from the Lake Cretaceous of North America, and Torosaurus uh, actually represented the same kind of dinosaur, with Torosaurus representing the mature form of Triceratops. Uh, indicating that the morphological differences between Triceratops and Torosaurus, uh, which mainly uh, point to the large elongated frill of Torosaurus and it, the two large holes that perforated, uh, developing over the course of a Triceratops' life. And uh, that struck uh, myself and my co-author, Nick Longridge, as a really interesting, testable scientific hypothesis. And so we set out to determine if Triceratops and Torosaurus were actually the same kind of dinosaur. We address three testable predictions that basically must be true in order to uphold the idea that two dinosaurs or two other fossil taxa that are not dinosaurs are actually the same. And so the first of those uh, testable predictions is that the animal should be found in the same time, uh, rocks of the same age, that is, and the same place. And in the case of Triceratops and Torosaurus, that first prediction is upheld in that both of these dinosaurs lived in the late Cretaceous of North America, Western North America to be more precise. Uh, the second prediction is that if, for example, Torosaurus turns out to be the mature form of Triceratops, all individuals of Torosaurus should naturally be more mature than Triceratops. And so in our study, we conducted basically an ontogenetic series analysis to understand if Torosaurus is always more mature than Triceratops. And in contrast to uh, that prediction, we actually found that some individuals of Torosaurus are relatively less mature than other individuals of Triceratops, although some individuals of Triceratops are also less mature than other individuals of Torosaurus. So basically that finding in itself is incompatible with the idea that Torosaurus actually reflects the mature form of Triceratops. And the third prediction that one would make uh, when suggesting that an animal like Triceratops basically morphs, uh, morphs into an animal like Torosaurus is that basically morphological intermediates should exist that document the transition from this short solid frill in Triceratops to the elongate perforated frill that we see in Torosaurus. And uh, we point out in our article that there simply aren't any good convincing examples of these transitional forms documenting Triceratops basically turning into Torosaurus. And as such, that prediction is not met either. So on the balance of all of the evidence, we concluded that uh, there simply is insufficient evidence to conclude that Triceratops and Torosaurus are actually the same kind of dinosaur. And rather, it's far more likely that Torosaurus and Triceratops are actually distinct taxa. We do feel that this, uh, this technique, this protocol that we laid out, can definitely be applied to other instances of uh, supposed synonymy through ontogeny in the fossil record. For the Triceratops Torosaurus study, we traveled around to a number of different museum collections to examine the Triceratops and Torosaurus skulls that they had. And specifically, we were interested in looking at the pattern of skull bone fusion in those individuals. Because much like a human baby, over a Triceratops' life, uh, the bones of the skull would basically come together and fuse. We were interested in understanding if basically all of the Torosaurus individuals that we were looking at were relatively more mature in terms of how fused up those skulls were uh, compared to Triceratops individuals. Uh, and we found that some Torosaurus individuals were in fact less fused up and considerably so than some Triceratops individuals, uh, suggesting that uh, contrary to previous opinions, some Triceratops individuals are actually more mature than Torosaurus. This is the occipital condyle of a juvenile Torosaurus, which is basically the point on the skull uh, that attaches the head to the neck. And as you can see, it's comprised of three unfused bones. And what we know about horn dinosaur ontogeny is that throughout life, those three bones comprising the occipital condyle fuse together. And so the fact that this Torosaurus individual has completely unfused occipital condyles suggests that this actually represents an immature animal. This Triceratops occipital condyle, as you can see, is completely fused. Basically, it looks like a baseball. 
and the fact that these bones have completely come together and fused up is indicative of maturity in this individual. So we would conclude that this individual Triceratops was relatively more mature than the Taurosaurus that we just looked at. We're out here in front of the Yale Peabody Museum with the mascot Taurosaurus statue. And one of the motivators behind actually conducting the Triceratops Taurosaurus study in the first place was because we actually really wanted to know if we had to go and put a new label on the statue or not. And so at the end of the day when our results emerged and it turned out that Taurosaurus was actually a distinct kind of dinosaur, it was validating in the sense that we didn't actually need to go and put a new sign up calling this guy Triceratops. Turns out that Taurosaurus and Triceratops really are distinct.